There's one. There's another one. There we go. There's another one. Good morning, all you amazingly awesome and beautiful fish and friends. Welcome to another episode. Beautiful morning. The birds are singing. Listen, sun's just barely peeking up. Randall's on his way here. Going to get out and do some fishing. I'm excited because it uh, looks like we're going to have a beautiful day. I don't know so much uh, how the fishing's going to be. I don't see really any clouds in the sky, but gosh, the weather is absolutely amazing right now. It's supposed to get hot into the 90s, but it's summer. So I'm gonna grab the frog rod, a couple other things, take them out and see if we can't get on some fish. So enough yapping, start fishing. I cannot believe it. I am done with the Max Quattro braid. That is my second frog fish this year that I've broke off. Just frayed, snapped again. Second frog fish, good blow up, gone. What in the heck, dude? That time we got him on the edge of the grass out there. Boy, he is digging in that too. Might not even be a monster, but gosh, he is burying himself in that grass. Watch, it'll be like barely a pound bass. Oh, get out of that junk. Well, after breaking my first good bite of the day off, good frog fish, no clue what's up with that line, why I've broke off. It's my second fish, but Got a fish on the old six cents clout. I think there's a fish in here still, maybe not. Oh yeah, he's in there. Not an absolute crazy toad of a horse, but it's a decent fish to start the day off with. Look, I uncover him a little bit. Look, sir, stop. Gosh, look at that. Now that's why I love frogging. Do that with a frog, you can just ouch, winch him through. All right, there we go. First one of the day, pound and a half bass on the old six cents clout. Thanks for eating there, my guy. It is warm. I caught about 12. There's one. Another one on the old stick bait on the edge of the grass. Um, I caught about 12 fish. I think altogether total they may have, may have weighed a pound. Like. I was literally catching my stick bait was bigger than like the first three fish I caught All right, well here we go another one on the old clout Of course they get all up in this grass and they feel like they're monsters. This fish is probably a little pounder, but ah, Another pound and a half or that's two decent fish. Yeah Nice Look at that another nice little chunk on the edge of the grass cool all right, there we go, number two, another, I don't know, pound and a half, pound and three quarter, another decent fish. Thank you for eating, guy. You saw the weight coming up to the bait? Yeah. And it was so shallow right there, I could see the entire fish. And I just did like a little, like it just popped the butt of my rod a little bit. Yeah. There we go, there's another one. Little guy. Of course we couldn't keep getting the pound and a half, pound and three quarter fish. We had to get, <laughs> dude, this is exactly what I was catching yesterday. All right, well, there we go. That's like what we were catching yesterday. Pretty colors, look at the colors on his mouth. Iridescent green, he's warm, warm and hungry. One more on the old clout. The clout has been, uh, has been a nice little stick bait. I enjoy this thing. Six cents clout, a little bit different looking stick bait. It's got those, hexagonal diamond pyramid looking things all over it kind of a cool interesting little shape design it's not just you know your standard slick kind of stick bait deal right on the edges of this grass it seems to be where the fish are hiding out there's another one mm, 
not a monster, but that's another one. Yep, right on the edges of this grass they are. All right, another on the day. Active fish, edges of grass. Okay, I like it, I like it. That guy was not going anywhere. Perfect. Little pounder there on it. Another one on the old clout. This clout is about done for. That's caught. Eh, let's see. Maybe we can get one more out of it. There's one. No. Another decent one, feels like. All right, well. Ah, might be a day throwing the old clout all day. That's that's fine with me. After breaking off two frogfish, I'm honestly kind of uh, scared to throw that line on that rod until I get new stuff. Man, I want to be frogging though. They're all in the, the sides and into this grass. I have no doubt we'd be getting some frogfish. That's another good fish. Look at that. You know it's a good time when they're eating it like that on the edge of the grass. Look at him. He's got a good head on him. Over a pound. So far, hook sets have been good. Little dude, all right, another pound and a half or a pound and a half fest, I'll take it. Those are fun to catch all day. And it's even cooler because I'm using a, an old school reel. This is the Corrado D, which is from like what? Look at, look at how it casts that weightless plastic. I mean, old school reel made in Japan. That's why some of these old Corrados are so sought after. You know, the, the old stuff was all made in Japan. Even the newer Shimano stuff, you have to go to the high price stuff or go JDM, so. There's one. Not a huge fish, but that is a fish. Only the big ones on this show. Another dink, it's either pound and a halfers or super dinks. Thanks for eating, little dude. Over here po poaching my frog fish. He's just sitting there making fun of him the entire time. He's like, aren't you the big bad uh, deer? There's fish. Got him. Gosh, they get in that grass and they feel a lot bigger. But, that's a fish, dang it. The uh, the old stick bait been doing it, just throwing the stick bait on the edge of the grass. Nothing, nothing crazy this way of fishing. Finding grass lines, trying to find those fish that are patrolling. Sitting on the outside of it. Man, that hook is in there too. Give it the pop and get it out. All right, there we go. Another guy over a pound. Angry about it. Thank you, fish. The clout, that is the little guy right there doing it. I threw the uh, the package in my bag, or in my uh, my pocket. I'll show you here. That fish, that didn't even move. You didn't know what's going on. What in the Sam heck happened to me? Went to eat that worm. Hey, you're free there, little fella. Go, go do fish things. All right, so Randy just asked me what color I'm using. That's the Six Cents Clout in green pumpkin juice, 5.4 inch. That baby has uh, has been the deal the past couple days. Tons of dinks yesterday. Today we've got some good fish. A few pound and a half was there to start out. One was probably one and three quarter, getting closer to a two. And uh, a number of dinks, but good day, good day. I, uh, I accept any day where I can come out and catch fish like this. Good to get out and see old Randall catch up we are fishing folks let's uh let's see if there's anything else out here there's one right down into that grass get out of there feller get out of that grass oh so much fun pulling them through all this stuff Yo, man. All right, well, another big-headed old grass bass. Look at him. 
another chunky pound and a half on the old clout there we go thanks for eating there guy the clout the clout in the old magic color what did i say green pumpkin magic it's doing pretty magical for me today you can see it's got a bunch of different flakes in it like green yellow red black kind of a bluish just kind of a weird color i like it i like the action on it falls nice and wiggly on the way down like i said it's got those like diamond shaped things on it I don't really know how to explain it. It comes up to like little peaks, like little pyramids all on it. It's got a really good wiggle on the way down. So far that has been, uh, that has been the big fish catcher for me. All Randall, you caught one. Oh, there's another one. Throw it here, right on the edge of this grass. Yeah, I've also All right, another one. Edge of the grass, the old clout, doing some work. Hey, gosh, look at him. He's actually a lot better than I thought. Another pound and a half, pound and three quarter dude. Chunky, man, that dude is short and chunky. Look at his head. That's another good fish. Two pounder if he'd have been thick. Nice, all right, thanks man. Might as well tell you the combo quick. I've had a lot of people asking about that, the Lose TP1X, the speed stick. Um, this is a seven foot medium power fast action. So it's a little lighter, uh, kind of helps you throw those weightless plastics, I think easier. This is only rated for lures up to five eighths of an ounce. So I like this uh, and I didn't put a super heavy wire hook on. Uh, but it's not like a real light wire hook. It's kind of a in between, I would say like a normal, normal type hook, but there's another one. Just shut my camera off to check my battery. By golly, we got another one there. Feels like a decent dude. Patrol on the edge of the grass. Yeah, decent fish. Oh, get out of all that crap. I should probably check and retie because I have not retied through any of this. Oh, bigger than I thought. Dang, that dude is angry. He's biting my finger. <laughs> All right, there we go. Man, that that dude is... <laughs> oh, it's so nice getting to talk to Randy again. He was just joking about some turkey gloves. Back in the day when we first started catching more pike, I was like, dude, I got these turkey gloves. I know they have these like uh, gloves people use, so I grabbed these turkey gloves. It turned out to be a debacle. Gosh, this guy is super super feisty oh my gosh this dude is po'd <laughs> po'd good little fish let's weigh him i bet he's two and a half pounder let's see shut up randall two, two, two pounds six ounces yeah. that's what i was gonna say two and a half pounds two pounds eight ounces i'm gonna say two and a half on the nose oh my gosh what? two pounds nine ounces really? he's got a belly he's angry all right, well, that's the biggest one of the day. Two and a half L beer. Let's get an Instagram story post. <gasps> He's gonna do it again, don't do it. Every single thing you catch goes in the bucket. Isn't there like limits and such? I don't care about no limits. Manners. Oh, there's a bite. That's one of my fish. Yes, sir. Ah. Look at that. There we go. Back to our regular dinktastic programming, folks. No more of that two and a half pounder business. Oh, well, that's a good sign. First cast with the old worm. Found one. He's digging. Get out of that grass there, feller. All right, there we go. One more on the tally. The old sit. What the hell? Gosh, get all up in that stuff and they feel huge. Especially on a little medium power rod like that. All right, so this guy got it a little bit deep. I'm going to try doing the gill removal here. Hopefully we can get in and still save this dude. Gently going to take this hook and get it right between his gills here. Turn it around just like that. Okay, you can see what happened there. So I've got the round bend of the hook right here. I don't know how well y'all can see this, but round bend of the hook right there. 
So you can see I've got the hook coming out of his gills. I'm real careful around those gills though. There we go. Look at that. Not even a drop of blood. That gill removal has saved so many fish for me. Not a drop of blood and he's good to go. Instead of trying to pull his guts out, off he goes. Oh, that little removal trick has saved so many fish. If y'all haven't seen that, I need to draw like a diagram of it. Because it, uh, it has been a fish saver. I see the light dummy. All right, fish and friends, just got done for the day. We've got a storm rolling in, so I wanted to shoot the outro before uh, we get rained out. But today's successful day. All the fish for me came on the six cents clout. Nice little stick bait. I am definitely digging it. Uh, it's got a great action, a good shimmy on the way down. Uh, like I showed you before, it's got those little diamond pyramid shaped deals on it. I don't know how much that aids in the, the drop and the shake, uh, but I like it. 5.4 inches, there's 10 in here. I've got three left. So durability on them, I would say is pretty normal. Some of them lasted through multiple fish. Some of them only lasted one. Um, the hooks, I was using a three-aught eagle claw. Now, they call these their heavy wire, but to me, these are like a regular wire, uh, and it worked great with the setup. So again, the Luz TP1X, that white rod a, a number of people have asked about. Uh, again, that's a medium power. Works great for a little uh, weightless stick bait like this. Cast it extremely well. Now I put the P-Line Flora Clear on here. Usually for me, this is a cranking line, but it's a really nice, soft, supple line that casts really well, and you want something that's not gonna you know, wind up and have a ton of memory when you're throwing a little weightless stick bait like this. The reel, uh, this is the old school reel I was putting to the test. This is that Corrado D. Still an awesome reel, worked extremely well with this. I was surprised uh, how well this still casts. Uh, this was the predecessor to the Corrado E, that green reel that I showed you a while back. Love those reels, but it's cool putting some of this older stuff to use. It still works, dang it, and it felt darn good. So that will do it from us for today. Camera guy, uh, Randall, thank you very much for doing the filming for me. Mm -hmm. Today's subscribe fish and friend is my guy, Vince. Uh, I met a subscribe fish and friend here uh, when we were fishing. He was getting ready to go out in his kayak, and he stopped and talked. So always cool when people do that. Uh, they, he knew me and Randall, so it's always you know kind of mind-blowing to me that people are like, oh, we watch you guys, and I don't know. We're just two dudes that like to fish, right? Mm -hmm. So Vince, thanks for stopping to say hey, and thank you everybody else who continues to watch and support. It means a ton to me. But uh, we got to get going before we get dumped on here. You can tell it's getting really dark. So thank you all so much for watching, and until next time. Mm -hmm.